everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to use a TENS unit for hip pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So the folks at HealthMate Forever sent me their wee little NTS-8 unit to use, and so that's what I'm going to use for the TENS unit today. And if you're interested in purchasing any of their TENS EMS units, you can click on the link up there. So I'm going to start off with using four electrodes. So with a TENS unit, you can use either two electrodes, which is one channel, or four electrodes, which is two channels. And so you can connect them here. And so what makes it nice about that is each channel has two electrodes. So if you're just trying to get like general hip pain, usually using four electrodes is the best because what you want to do is make each channel cross. So you don't want it here and here, you want your pain to kind of be in the middle and then you have an electrode here, 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 and here. So it's crossing each other, so that's where the intensity goes. Sometimes I think people forget about that and then they don't feel it quite as well because it's just going this way versus this way. So I'm gonna do the four electrodes, which is the two channels. And so what's really nice about this is you just kind of stick them on. It doesn't have to be specific. For a TENS unit, you're just trying to kind of get the general area. So you don't have to, everybody has to be here, everybody has to be here, everybody has to be here. So if, for example, maybe I was having some hip bursitis, and that greater, greater trochanteric hip bursitis right there, what you do is when you get that point tender spot, you're going to put electrode here, electrode here for one channel, and then electrode here and electrode here for the other channel. So the big thing about the TENS not being exact is sometimes once you turn it on, you might have to move the electrodes just a little bit, but that's okay because it's got a pause button here, so you don't even have to turn the whole unit off. You can just pause it, move the electrode a little bit, and then try it again. So sometimes it's a little bit of a learning curve finding the right spot, but then if you once you find the right spot, you can kind of go to that because, it, again, it doesn't have to be exact. So then if you maybe had some piriformis pain, piriformis syndrome in the back here, so maybe it's just like this spot. So you do one here, one here, one here, one here. So they're crossing each other, just getting that general area. So if you wanted to get more of a specific spot, so maybe you're saying it's just right here, it's not really the whole area, this spot is one that hurts, then you can just do the one channel, which is two electrodes, and just put one here, one here, or you can do it side to side, which is everyone is more comfortable for you. So then you're getting it in the specific spots because the closer the electrodes are, the stronger it's gonna be. And so it's kind of the same if you have four electrodes that are around, it's kind of a general strongness, but if you have two close together, it's gonna be a lot stronger. So that's just kind of how you can do it if you want the two electrodes or if you want the four electrodes. But the biggest thing to remember is to make sure and cross it. So also with the TENS, you don't want to get a muscle contraction. If you feel like your muscle is doing this, it's on too high, or you need to change those pads because the TENS is a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. So it's just it's stimulating those top nerves. It's not going down into the muscle. So it's helping with pain. It's helping increase the circulation. But there are some things that you might have that you shouldn't use a TENS unit for, so make sure that you talk to your healthcare provider about is it okay and is it safe to use for your particular injury or ailment. So I'm gonna put these on and then I'll go into a little more detail about what to do with this. So I've got them placed now and I just put my shorts back down because I didn't want to blind you with my milky white thighs. But what I have is for the channel one, it's here and here, that's where the electrode is, and for channel two, it's here and here. So I'm, I'm placing the electrodes as if I had that hip bursitis or that um, greater trochanteric bursitis. So what's nice here, the eight, the NTS eight part means that there's the eight settings. And so a lot of times people will ask, well, what settings should I use for my pain? Well, as long as you're doing the 10 settings, it doesn't really matter. Some people might tell you the different frequencies or wavelengths are better for one thing or for the other, but what they all really do the same thing, they just feel differently. So I usually say put it on the lowest setting. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn the intensity up and, until I can feel it, and then I'm just gonna try out each one and see which one I like the best. So 
for TENS, you're really trying to decrease the pain, help increase that circulation. So you want it to be the most comfortable for you. There's no reason you should be sitting there going like this the whole time because it's uncomfortable or it doesn't feel good. So if you get it on and you, you're like, hmm, I don't like that setting, then you just hit the little M or the mode and it'll go to the next one. And then you just then bump up the intensity with that. So if you get to one and you're like, ooh, that one, you know, is kind of a prickly one, then just move on to the next setting and add, and add it on. So this one is the one I like a little bit better. It kind of ramps up nice and slow and comes back down. But so you can see I have it on. I have it about setting three where it's, it's pretty light for me. I would want it a little bit stronger. But again, you shouldn't really see any muscles contracting. So I'm going to see. I'm not sure if I have it in a spot, but I'm going to take it up and see if I can get some. So there is a contraction there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go even higher. If I'm getting that contraction, that means it's it's too high. You don't want to actually see the muscle contraction because then you're fatiguing out that muscle and that's not the goal of the TENS unit. So if it, you're getting too much with that and you see a muscle contraction, especially on other parts of the body that don't have as much meat on them, you might just either need to change the placement of the electrodes or just go down in the intensity a little bit. Because again, that one was pretty uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to sit there for 15 or 20 minutes with it on with that feeling. So if you know, you're like, ooh, oh, and your muscles squeezing tight, then that's just too much for you. So again, if you're interested in purchasing the HealthMate Forever, either TENS unit, EMS unit, make sure you click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe. Don't shock yourself. Have fun. And I hope you feel better soon.